All right, let's talk ankles for a bit here. Um, here's an ankle that I had almost ready to paint, and it's been bugging me ever since I made it because I printed it using this file from the Michael Badley Mark III files. This is the standard ankle as opposed to the long, which um, can support R2-D2 being in two-foot mode and three-foot mode. This is just the standard, just for three-foot mode only. It has built-in supports, right, because it prints in this direction. All of R2-D2's weight is pretty much put on the ankles, the pin that goes through here. Because his body's off the ground, it's got the batteries in it, the electronics, everything is in it. And then that weight goes into the shoulder hubs, down the legs, and to the ankles through this hole. Do not print your ankles in this orientation. Uh, like Michael Badley likes to say, think of the layer lines as wood grain. So you print it in this orientation, it's printing like this. And it's going to make that piece snap off because it's weak. It's got a joint going this way. So this is the preferred way to print it, which is why he has this file. Like I said, it's got a built-in, this is not from my slicer, this is built-in support that prints up to here. Okay, so here's the finished one, right? And then it also, because it's printing in this orientation, that's too big of a span for most printers to make without the filament sagging. So it's got built-in support in here, in the file, not created by the printer. Now, you can probably see where I'm going with this. This did not properly stick to the support. There's a gap in there. Now, this is the one that I have almost ready for painting, and it is an even bigger gap. I'm not going to, because I'm filming this with one hand on the phone, I'm not going to put a block of wood in there. But if I put a block of wood in there, you'd see that's, that's quite a fair-sized opening. I was just going to fill it with epoxy and call it good, because my droid is not going to be driving around that much, so I'm sure it's probably fine. But it's one of those things where I'm... It's been bugging me. It's like, well, is it fine? Should I reprint it? Should I not? The main reason not to is because these really need to be strong. So the way I've done them is five or six uh, perimeters and 35% infill uh, triangular pattern. Again, just to make them strong because they are a weak point right here if they happen to break because of all the weight on them. So I'm, I'm not too worried about it breaking there, but I'm worried about if I do take R2 out and he's turning and there's epoxy filling that gap, then it's going to possibly work loose. And the more it works loose, the more wobbly this leg gets, the more it'll work loose until this leg possibly fails, bends, folds, or something. So it's it's really been bugging me, so I decided to reprint it. The other leg, or ankle, I printed in this orientation. This is the first one I printed. So I used this file on my TiVo Tornado printer, just like this one. And because it didn't print right here, the next one I printed was the version of this file called um, Ankle A, I think, Standard No Support. So it's made so you can print it in this orientation. And in fact, you don't need support. Your printer should be able to handle that angle and spanning this distance, bridging this distance here. So the other ankle, I printed like this and it's fine. So I decided to print this. It uses about 80% of a spool of filament. And like an idiot, I just started it up 
let it go, started watching it when I got to this point, and then once I it got to here and I saw, and I'm like, okay, it doesn't look as bad as the other one, but it's still not right, I decided to stop it. Now this was, ooh, I didn't write it down, but this could have been like 20 hours of printing, right? Um, I'm printing, when I first printed them, this one here and the other one, I printed them in uh, 0.3 resolution. So this curved piece took a bit of finishing to get smooth because of the stair stepping, because the resolution wasn't that great. So I decided to print, reprint in 0.2 resolution, which I don't know if you can see, but it's, you know, a couple ghosting lines where there's changes of the print. But other than that, it's, it was printing really nice, not a lot of finishing. But what I should have done and I recommend anyone do. First of all, watch his video. Go to YouTube and look for um, Michael Badley R2-D2 videos. He's got some videos describing the legs and the body and assembly. And there's some tips in there that aren't in the documentation. He mentioned something about the ankles being made for, I swear it said 0.2 resolution. Which is why I just went ahead on my Prusa. Because my Prusa bridges better than the TiVo Tornado did. And the TiVo, I printed the ankles at 0.3 resolution, and the Prusa I did 0.2, but I still had this issue. So, I reprinted the ankle. Let's see there, in this orientation, actually, not that it matters, but that orientation, and it came out beautiful. The 0.2 resolution. That is not going to take much cleanup at all before it's ready for painting. Really, really nice. And this end was up. You can see there's a few loose filaments there, but hardly any. It's, it's barely bowed at all, and it's just, just a tiny bit, as opposed to lengthwise, that has the huge amount of surface area that the ankle is in. So this one is more like the other one I printed, but the other one took more finishing because it was 0.3 resolution and this is 0.2 and it came out really nice and smooth. This took about 36 hours to print. Um, so, if you're going to print this, here's what I would recommend. I would recommend that you use either your slicer or um, mesh mixer or something and you start it you start the print right after the transition from this built-in support to this flat piece here so start printing it right here so on your bed it starts printing right here which is right about here and then when it gets to this point, see if it works or not. If it does, hey, you're good. And you can print it in the recommended orientation like this for strength. If you have this problem, you can mess around with it. Do it again where you try from here up and see if you can get that to work. I didn't want to mess around with that and keep trying different settings and try and find out why I'm having this issue on two different printers with two different resolutions on the same file. And so I printed this one sideways, which is the next best thing to flat with upright being what you do not want to do. So I'm really happy with this. Unfortunately, <laughs> Because this is like 80% of a spool of filament, I mean, that's got to be like almost $18 in filament. This is, you know, probably $14 in filament, and here's another $18 in filament. So, it, it's just crazy the amount of money for one ankle. So, that's why I'm saying this takes so much filament. 
just try printing just the area from the support up to where it bridges it and then a little bit beyond to see if it's working rather than wasting all of this filament if your printer is not going to be able to print that properly unless you're prepared to shove epoxy in there once you've got the leg glued to the ankle and call it good um, i'm thinking maybe jb weld might be better because it dries harder so the other thing with epoxy is it's it's a bit soft it's a bit flex most epoxies and again you you want your ankle and your leg to be firmly attached so that's why I decided not to print to paint this one but to redo it that's why I decided to kill this print when it was fairly I mean I'm not gonna say close but it was it was getting it was past the halfway point definitely and decided to print again like this now of course at this point <laughs> I've used up all of my white filament, well, maybe 5% left on a spool because I'd use it for something else too. So I've got a little bit of white. I used up all of my blue and a portion of my black. This is all eSun PLA Plus. Because again, if you can print these in ABS and not have warping, you know, the, that's to be the strongest. Um, PETG, which I cannot print without warping. Um, that would be next best and then PLA plus and then regular PLA about the only thing on this file that looks like it's going to take any finishing and it's hardly anything is right there that upper left corner lifted up a tiny bit from the bed so a little bit of filler material there and then just probably a little bit of sanding a coat of primer and then maybe fixing a few areas like that one back there and maybe here because this is the top side so the areas around those indentations might have a few little holes that could be or gaps that could be filled but yeah I'm happy I did this just to get it off my mind that it's a possible weak spot but I'm also ticked off that I wasted this much filament just assuming that this would not happen when I could have tested it first so something to keep in mind and um, do is if you're printing the ankles like I said this is the this is the recommended strongest way to do it you will have more finishing because you have to pry this off and it makes the bottom side of this a bit rough now the bottom side of that is facing R2 so it's not really that noticeable so it's not like you have to get that part pristine but you have to pop that out you have to pop these out which I seem to remember was a pain in the neck even they were only attached at the bottom it was still a pain to get this out um, but yeah try it before you buy it basically and if it doesn't work then go ahead and print it like that the version that does not have supports if if you're uncomfortable about this area here you can go into your um, slicer and depending on your slicer you can figure out how it, you can make it make supports just from inside this box to the top of this box to help with that top bit but the TiVo one over here and the Prusa one over here there's really that's that's nothing to worry about it's just a few it's just like maybe two layers before it you know grabbed hold and started printing it just fine so a little little talk on ankles now that I have wasted what 36 40 like 50 hours of printing between these two to get one ankle out of it 